appears it's less than over for a long-running educational project in California. As CBS 2's Joe Kwan tells us, the fourth grade requirement to build models of missions is on its way to the history books. My favorite part was painting, but my dad did a lot of the cutting. <laughs> Alex Chu says she has fond memories of her fourth grade Spanish mission project. She grew up here in San Gabriel and used styrofoam to make a model of Mission San Gabriel. By having us do these mission projects and like presenting them, um, we learn a little bit about our history as Californians. That's why this former teacher and now docent here at the mission says the projects like Tu did should stick around. A huge part of history and a an learning opportunity that should not be taken away from the children. The California curriculum framework adopted last year says building missions from sugar cubes or popsicle sticks does not help students understand the period. Colleen McKenzie disagrees. Based upon the questions that the children ask because they want more information, I would say they're learning. McKenzie says this isn't just a history lesson. It also teaches kids about architecture. This student chose to use old coffee stirs for the roof. It's also an art lesson. Tu says she's learned lessons from her Spanish mission project she still uses today. Teamwork skills, yeah, I think in asking for help when I need it. The state curriculum framework also claims the mission project is offensive to many. I don't think it's offensive. I don't know why someone would. I don't know what's offensive about studying history. Some teachers have found other ways to teach about the period. A teacher in Manhattan Beach has her students do watercolor paintings like this one. Mission model making isn't required by the state, so those sugar cubes and popsicle sticks and styrofoam could be a thing of the past. In San Gabriel, Joe Kwan, CBS 2 News.